Okay guys, so now that we have made all of the four designs for the front part of this photo frame project, uh, I'm going to show you now how to make the side parts along with this back part that has this some type of flower design in it. So to start off, I'm going to take this project that we have set aside. So now we're here. We're going sideways, so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it so that this part is this part is showing. So what you need to do is we're going to get the, the right color of beads that you need to use. So for this one, it is the light blue. So Put blue ones on the right string and sagiko with the blue one. And for the side parts, we're just going to do that for the three sides. We're going to leave this upper part open so we can insert the photo frame or the photo inside the photo frame. We need to do switch your left string to this one adjacent orange bead. So this is going to be the the thing you need to do for the rest of the other designs. Because they are they are they are all the same. Switch your left string to this one adjacent green bead. Put one blue one in the right. And then select up with a blue one. Switch your left string to this one adjacent orange bead. Put one blue one on the right and silly copy the blue one. And switch your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. The last cluster for the for side. Put one blue one on the right string. So leak up with the blue one. So since we we're in the corner part now, the first corner, you will see that the beads that is adjacent is linear to the first one. So what you need to do is we're gonna insert your left string to that one adjacent bead. And then put one blue one on the right and salikop with the blue one. So now that we're now we're gonna see that the beads is folding to the left. So we have that corner part there. So I'm gonna hatch up with you after this. So now we're on the second side or the bottom part or the side part. What you need to do is insert your left string to this. One adjacent orange bead. Put one blue one in the right. Select up with the blue one. Insert your left string to this one adjacent green bead. Put one blue on the right and one on the left. Search your left string to this one adjacent orange bead. Put one blue on the right and a blue uh, silico for silico. Search your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. Put one blue one on the right 
silicop with the blue one so now we're on the second corner so what you need to do is now that we're here insert your left swing to that one adjacent ruby and we're gonna form the second corner by putting one blue on the right and then silicop with the blue one so now it is also folding folding to the left insert your left string to this one adjacent orange bead put the blue one on the right and silicop with the blue one insert your left string to this one adjacent green bead put one blue on the right silicop with the blue one Search your left string to this one adjacent orange bead. Put one blue one on the right and then silica with the blue one. So now we're going to the last cluster. Search your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. So this is the third side now. This one is open. So what we need to do is, instead of putting the beads on the right, we're going to put the bead on the left. And then we're going to salico. So we're going to form the back part now. So now that we're here, you can see I have made the three sides. So we're going to form the back part now. Okay, to form the back part, as you can see, we have the choice of having two colors for the design part. Or you can use just one color for all of those four designs. So now that we're here, what we need to do is, we're going to put a design. So, we're going to put an orange one on the right, a blue one. For the overall color and then an orange one again so this is going to form the first flower so you can see it is hanging from this side now put one orange one on the right one blue one on the left stain and then we're gonna silica up with the blue one so this is the second cluster. And the middle cluster doesn't have a design. So just put one blue on the right and one blue on the left. So you copy the blue one. And then we're gonna make another color for the second power. So what we need to do is can choose a gray one on the right blue one on the left and then a gray one again for the silico so now we have that we have the four clusters now so this is where the part that is kind of tricky so since we have the four clusters of four we're going to turn our work this way we're gonna put a blue one on this string here right side what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that one bead insert the string here on the other side and then we're going to silico with a gray bead So now we have this this cluster of four the side part. Since it has a hole in the middle, so what we need to do is we're going to form the side parts only. Okay. So since we're here, we're gonna insert our left string to this adjacent bead to this 
blue. So we're gonna pour. We're gonna put one gray one on the right string, and then a blue one. A blue one for the silicone. We're just gonna fill the side parts of it and leaving the center open okay i'm gonna hand shop with you after this okay so now that we are here what we need to do is insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead we have formed the second flower now so we're in the middle so what we need to do is put one blue one on the right and silico with the blue one Search your left string to this one adjacent bead. We're gonna form a flower again. So what you need to do is we're gonna put an orange one on the right and silico with the orange one. So since we're in this corner here, what we need to do is insert your left string to this adjacent bead here and also the one after it. That is the corner of it. Hope you can see. So here we're just going to silicone with an orange bead. Since that is the corner part. And after this, we're just gonna continue on filling the side parts. Insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. To form the flower, we need to put an orange one for the right. And then silico with the blue one. Okay, now we're in the middle part again. So insert your left string to this one adjacent bead. Put one blue on the right and silico with the blue one. Insert your left string to this one adjacent bead. We're gonna make another flower using the gray one. So put one gray on the right and silico with the gray one. Okay, so after this, we're in the corner again. Let's see, we're in that corner again. So what you need to do is insert your left string to this one adjacent bead and also for the other one after it. So here we're just gonna silico with a gray one. So now we're on the last side parts for the back. Insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. Put a gray one on the right. Silico with the blue one. Insert your left string to this one adjacent blue bead. Put the blue one on the right and silico with the blue one. And now we're on the last part of it. So we're here now. Insert your left string to this one adjacent bead. And also for that orange one. So we're gonna form this flower. So we need to put an orange one, which is just a silico. And the only thing left for this is to pass through both ends to so a series of beads to lock it. It's just gonna pass through a series of beads. And then you can put the keyring now after doing that. After passing the string to a series of beads, you can cut it. So, this is the end of our tutorial for the day to pass it through what I usually do is I pass it through this part so this part will be sturdy so it has that hole there and this hole in the middle okay guys I'm just gonna show you how it looks like when you put a photo inside substituting this paper for your photo 
So I guess this is about one and a half inch by one and a half inch. So this is what we what it will look like if you put a photo. You're gonna slide it from that hole in the upper part, and that is the space where you can see your photo. So that is the case for this one too. So that is the end of our tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed uh, making them as much as I enjoyed teaching them to you. Um, I will put links on the description box below if you want to try making my other tutorials. If you have comments and suggestions, uh, put them in the comment box and click the thumbs up if you like this tutorial and please hit the subscribe button so you can see my other posts or my future posts uh, that's it for me bye